what's up YouTube it's Kim and it's way in Thursday I missed my meeting yesterday unfortunately I have not been feeling well this week I was not about to wake up at 6 30 in the morning to make my meeting but I am feeling better today and I made it to a meeting this morning I want to encourage you if you ever are not able to make your normal meeting find another meeting and check in and get that motivation that you need. So let's get to the weigh-in. How did I do? I was down one pound and my total pounds lost is 103.4. I am so happy about that. Before I get into my week, I just wanna take a moment to truly thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the support you gave me last week. I was overwhelmed with love and support. That video was a very, very hard one to make. It was real, it was raw, and you guys just gave me the biggest hug. And I'm so lucky to be surrounded on YouTube and in my real life with just amazing, supportive people that just mean the world to me. So thank you so much, guys. I truly appreciate you and I am so lucky to have you guys in my life. So that binge last week really scared me. I have to be honest with you, I haven't had a binge like that in a long time and it kind of like gave me a glimpse back to my old life. And I want no part of that. I am not that person anymore. It was almost like an out of body experience where you want to stop but you can't and it really scared me and I know that I need to be more proactive about research on binge eating disorder and really just get some more tools in my pocket in order to prevent that in the future because I know where I'm going and I'm headed to goal and a healthy life long term. It's weird I just I feel different this week. I felt like I was starting over in a way. I just felt such a renewed dedication to the program and going back to the basics. And I just want to embrace this next chapter and get to goal and continue to work on myself and my mental well-being. Because sure, you can have, you know, your stomach cut off and you can lose weight that way, but long term, you need to fix what's up here. So I had an amazing start to the week. Friday I had a four mile walk with Jane at the beach. That was awesome. Saturday we did the Color Vibe 5K. That was amazing. They're, they do it all over the country. So if you go to their website, I think it's colorvibe.com, you can see where they do it. It was so uplifting. It was so positive. The energy was amazing. And it was just so fun, especially as a mom to, you know, to go and get color thrown on, on you and you be the one having all the fun. You know, why should the kids have all the fun? So I did it with Jane and Danielle, who also has an Instagram account now. I will put her right here. Check her out on Instagram. And we just had the best time met another Instagram person, which I have, I recorded a video for that, but since I haven't been feeling well, I haven't been able to put it up. I wanted to put it up yesterday, but that didn't happen. So hopefully next week you will see the video from the Color Vibe and you'll get to see all the fun we had. Then Sunday was my daughter's dance recital. I gotta tell you, I felt fabulous. I had on a new dress. I just, felt like I was walking with some swagger. I felt fabulous and even my mom was like, wow Kim, you're glowing and I'm gonna put in a picture right now. And that dress was a little short for me. I mean, the top of my knees have not seen the light of day in a long time. But that is when you have to take a step back and say, okay, wow, all this hard work is really worth it. When you can put on a dress and feel wonderful and confident and love being in pictures and love what you see. The topic this week in the meeting is what's your superpower? I am going to put the link down below. There is some great info and ways you can kind of explore what your superpower is because you want to tap into that superpower when you need it. So my superpower is resiliency and the fact that no matter whatever life throws at me, what I throw at myself, 
and if life knocks me down I get right back up and I know that no matter what happens the only thing that matters is the next move you make and the fact that I'm never going to give up so take a moment read that weekly think about what your superpower is and how it helps you and know that you can tap into that at a moment's notice to lift you up and help you keep going on your journey this week's subscriber question of the week comes from B.A. Manning. She wants to know, what do I drink during the day beside water and my morning cup of coffee? Pretty much just water. I don't buy soda for the house. Sometimes I do if I'm having a party or a barbecue or something, but me personally, I don't drink caffeine. It makes my heart rate race, it gives me anxiety. So if I do, it's diet root beer or diet Sprite. And when I go out to eat, it's pretty much water with lemon because even diet, the caffeine and Diet Coke will keep me up at night. So, or I like to use some of the water flavoring or I like diet cranberry juice, but mostly it's just water or flavored water. So not too exciting. Oh, you know what I love? I love those Bai, B-A-I drinks and I'll mix that with water. So that's always an option. Thank you for your question, B.A. Manning. If, everybody, if anybody has a question for me, please put it down in the comments below. Earlier this week, I posted a video of my Aldi's grocery shopping haul. So if you wanna see what I buy there, that's on program. I also include the smart points. I will link that below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Have a wonderful week and stay fit and fabulous. Bye.